a former prison officer who took over her partner's drug dealing business when he was sent back to prison has been spared jail. Emma Lehman, 27, took over her boyfriend's illegal drug empire when he returned to drug dealing out of desperation because he was in debt, a court heard. Her partner Christopher Sears, 44, was caught by police and sent back to prison on recall, the Hull Daily Mail reports. Lehman, a former legal executive in Hull with a criminology degree, had also been told there was a bounty on her head as a former prison officer if she was jailed. Emma Lehman wept as she was spared jail, image, Hull Daily Mail, WS, she wept with relief in the dock of Hull Crown Court on hearing her prison sentence would be suspended. She said through her barrister she had been, stupid, and, manipulated, in her relationship with Sirs, which she said was now over. Sirs, who had a previous conviction for drug dealing, was jailed for two years. Richard Walfall, prosecuting, said police found drugs worth more than £2,500 when they raided the couple's East Hill home on October 26 last year. A significant amount of amphetamine was in the freezer in other parts of the house, and cocaine was found in a BMW car parked outside. Lehman told Humberside police the car belonged to a friend she refused to name. There was a total of 202 grams of amphetamine, with a purity of between 4 and 14 percent and a street value of 2,400 pounds, and 3 grams of cocaine, with a purity of 49 percent, worth 175 pounds. Police also recovered 580 pounds, mobile phones a dealer list of names and amounts owed. Lehman had taken over Christopher Sir's drug dealing business, image, Hull Daily Mail, WS. Lehman admitted possession of cocaine and amphetamine with intent to supply and possessing criminal property, the cash. Sir's admitted possession of amphetamine with intent to supply and possessing criminal property. Not guilty verdicts were entered on a further charge faced by both defendants of keeping a brothel after prosecutors offered no evidence. Mr. Wolfall said police intercepted phone calls between the couple after Sirs was recalled to prison, and these showed Miss Lehman was being guided in what she was doing by Mr. Sirs. She pleaded guilty on a basis that she only knew a suspected £300 to £400 of the money found was from crime. She had, however, kept a record of the monies taken and expenditure of the business for Sirs. Victoria Smith-Swain, for Lehman, said just before she committed the offences, she was the victim of a shooting at her home address as a result of a long-standing dispute between the perpetrator and Mr. Sirs. Her mental health had deteriorated and she started taking drugs to numb the pain. She appeared at Hull Crown Court, Image, Hull Daily Mail, Men Media. It is clear Miss Lehman performed a limited function under the direction of a prolific offender for a very short period of time for no financial gain for herself, Miss Smith Swain said. Dale Brooke, for Sirs, said he had tried to make positive changes on release from prison in June 2016, but got into debt. Referring to the shooting, he said, they were both victims of a serious criminal offence which is still being investigated, and he found himself in a situation where he was in significant debt, his partner had been put in significant danger, and he wanted to do what he could to try and change the situation. What they needed to do was to move out of the area, and in those difficult circumstances with debt he reverted to his old ways, recorder Tahir Khan QC said he accepted Sirs was acting out of desperation to try to raise money at the time. Lehman received a 16-month sentence, suspended for two years, and was ordered to do 140 hours of unpaid work and have up to 20 days rehabilitation.